baby, let me be. Eight days a week, I want to be your Kansas liquor girl. Hey, you guys, welcome to an awesome episode of Eat, Drink, and Handle Your Business. So excited to tell you what we're going to be making today because today's episode is something special. So what's the theme again? It's called My Italian. Yes, My Italian. I know you're asking what that means, so I'm going to let him explain. So basically, it's Italian dishes such as meatballs, sponge cake, fruit tarts, things of that nature, but it's our way. You see what I'm saying? We're not mm -hmm. doing it like the Italians do. It's my Italian, not our Italian. But let's not forget, it's still going to be authentic. It's still going to have the Parmesan, the basil, still the great components of it. But you know how your mom makes that lemon cake, that pound cake? It's the things that we most enjoy, and that's what makes it my Italian. Exactly, and I'm going to do my meatballs today. And it's mine because I'm using my barbecue sauce, Miller's Family Barbecue Sauce, straight from the Carolinas. And what are you making? I'm making what's called pan di spagna, and that's an Italian for sponge cake, okay? But what we're focusing on is three ingredients. Yes, anybody can do this. You don't need a lot of money, and that's what we want to focus on. You, not everybody needs to be a baker, needs to be a chef. You can make this and make it pretty for less and sticking to your budget. Exactly, so we're gonna get to it right now. I'm gonna start off by making these my Italian meatballs. So first thing you do, we got some a pound of ground beef here. You're just gonna go in with some salt. Okay, and did you just buy regular at the store or did you Listen, just have this to mix it up? Food line. I, I mean, they ain't paid for no sponsorship yet. So we're going to go in with some onion powder. And see, look at the flick of the wrist. You know what I'm saying? Look at the flick of the wrist. You feel me? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, too much. No, I'm, I'm telling you, the flick of the wrist, Ty. That's because some people don't have it. They some really people go don't. too hard. Oh, and some people don't go hard enough. And they you know what I'm saying? And you know what? What I want to make sure people understand is we haven't asked about one measurement, have we? So we just know how it tastes. You got to go on the website to get the measurements. We had a whole recipe up on the yeah. website, you know what I'm saying? But you got to have a flick of the wrist. There's just a dash here, a dash there. Come on, there. skip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is garlic powder okay, right here. Okay, so the garlic powder. You have yeah. your onion powder, your garlic powder. seasoning. Got to have it. So, you know, it's, it's yeah. our time. Yeah, so we're not it's out here making this season. So, like, literally, you can buy this stuff. This is about being easy and something that everyone can do. Right. You don't have to be a chef or a baker, like I said, to do this. And it's very cheap. It's not even, it's, it's not, you know, very expensive to do this at all. I mean, like, this dish probably is no more than, well, this is $5. You know what I'm saying? Where so can they get it? That's going to be the most. Uh, you, you know, you can go to www.millerscateringcharlotte, C-L-T, millerscateringclt.com, and you can get this. All right, so now we got some cumin. See, this is a lot of things that people don't put in their meatballs. Mm -hmm. They don't put cumin in their meatballs. That, that is a very important step, especially when you're doing barbecue meatballs. And then we're doing some crushed red pepper for a little spice. We're not going to try to heat you up and light you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what sometimes I get. People's meatballs is just too spicy. And it's not just the sauce. Literally, you're like, <sighs> whenever you're trying to eat it, I don't want that to happen. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. Worcestershire, just a touch. Oh, that's how you say it? Yeah, just a touch. I'd always yeah. say Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he wasn't first saying that. She from the hood. Okay, I she would She might look said. all pretty and bougie, but she from the hood. I had no idea how you said it. <laughs> all right, and then we're going with some Miller's, Miller's barbecue sauce. Oh, you got to come and see this. And see, we're going to top it off with this as well, but see, what the wetness does with this is gives it that creaminess and gives your meatball that moisture that you want. And then last but not least, I'm gonna steal Ty's eggs. We're gonna do an egg. Oh, and it's double yolk too. Ooh. And so you ain't gotta be a chef. You know, I learned in prison. I'm just kidding. What? I'm just you kidding. Guys, I didn't know that before today. We, I'm just, he's just, you kidding, right? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay. I've been in jail a few times. What? It was for the protest. Yeah, you're right. Good. Black, Black Lives Matter. Matter. Okay. So at the end of the day, we just mix this up. And yes, he did wash his hands. We do understand what's going on right it's now. It's COVID. Okay. All right. So the only thing you got left to do now is put in some green pepper. Ooh, I like that. It's so pretty. All right. So we're ready to plate. I mean, we're ready to actually get it ready to go for to the oven. Okay. So wait. You're gonna put the entire thing in there, or no, you we're just gonna, gonna make little balls. We're okay, little okay. Balls. I was like, wow, yeah. that's gonna be one like, big like, like, meatball. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? All you got is your balls and your word. That's what Scarface said, eh? 
Look at that. Oh, pretty wow, little that's meatball. perfect. And we're just going to put them in a pan. So look, oh, wow, just, that's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and it's just that simple. Okay, I'm going to try one. I'm going to try and make one of these. Okay, if you guys have watched any of the other episodes, then you guys know that I did not eat meat. So I did start eating meat a month ago, so I don't want to lie to you guys, but I'll still I'm be so focusing. Happy. Oh, my gosh. I'll still be focusing on more <laughs> vegetarian dishes, but I will start to transition because I want to try the food too, y'all. I don't want to be left out, okay? Yeah. All right, so how big of a size am I going to get of the meatball? You can get as big as you want. Okay, is it like an inch more or like, is this too That's much? That's great. That's okay, awesome. Okay. Then you just roll it. You just stick that right okay. there. So oh, we're wow. going to finish rolling the rest of these up and then we're going to show you what they look like. We got our oven preheating for 350 and we're going to bake these for probably about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. All right. I feel like this is too big. Is this too big? No. Okay, I guess the bigger the ball, we're going home, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more okay. Eat, Drink, and Handle Your Business. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Jazz from Call on Jazz, and I'm your mixologist, your event planner, your event decorator. I do it all. But today, I'm going to show you guys an Italian traditional. This is um, limoncello, and we're going to use the limoncello to make a limoncello martini. So first, what we need is you'll need some vodka, about three lemons. You'll need three um, gallons of what well, big glass jugs like this, something that you can secure and close. You need those. I want my drink to be that big. Where, where you come from? Where you, where yeah, you I'm trying to see what you're doing up here because you know this is my favorite segment of the show. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to show you how to make the lemon Okay, chocolate, talk okay? to me. Talk to me. So I got some sugar. You're going to need some sugar mm -hmm. and a potato peeler, a strainer, and a funnel. So you want to take your potato peeler and just peel the peels off of it. This one is a little rough here. All right, so once you do this with all three of your lemons, mm -hmm. you want to put them in a jug that you can close, right? Now you got some vodka. This is about 750 milliliters, so you can put all of this in there if you want to. Oh, it's look. really like three. Um, this really is three cups of vodka. Now, how many drinks is this gonna make? Well, it'll, it'll last you for a while. You can, as long as you leave it in the refrigerator. Okay, so this some people can just keep in their crib. Yeah. Okay. You can keep it in the crib, keep it in the refrigerator. For like up to a month. I was about to say, I think we about to drink all that. I said, man, I might already done had enough. <laughs> so you want this how it'll look and you want it to just like sit for at least three days, but you can leave it out for maybe two weeks, up to a month. It's up to you, but the more you let it sit in the in the vodka, it'll um the more lemony that your drink will taste. Okay. So after it sit for a while, it'll come out like this. All right, so now you got, this is water. You need about two or three cups of water. Okay. You're going to add your sugar in here. Mm -hmm. And this is going to make it sweet. Come on now. now. All I'm doing is just making simple syrup, but you can also make this on the stove and just put some hot water in the pan and just mix it up and as you add the sugar in it. But this is the same thing. It's just a simpler way to make it. Come on, Jazz. Shake, that, that, that. You shake, shake, <laughs> shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Now what we're going to do is put the... Um, let me try a little your mixture here. Okay. And two. Come on, Jazz. Simple syrup. Come on, baby. Come on now. All right. So I'm just a little big jug with my little hands. But you're going <laughs> to use a strainer as well so you See, can strain it out. You gave me the wrong job. You should have let me do that. So then what you want to do next is just put this in the fridge. Or you can actually get you a bottle. Something similar to this bottle. And just make sure you use a funnel and just put it in here. Get you a nice pretty bottle. You can put a label on it if you want to and just let it sit in the refrigerator. It tastes better when it's really, really cold. So you want to drink it when it's cold. Okay. But I already have some made in this bottle. So what we're going to do now is make the martini. Okay, because I'm ready to taste this, Jack. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we're going to just rim this here with the okay. lemon juice. Okay, okay. Take that off that. Take okay. some sugar and just rim it. Put it real nice, pretty, sugary. You know, get the kiss on the lips. You know, they call it sugar. <laughs> yep. Now I got my shaker right here. You want to put some ice in your shaker. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to use two ounces of the limoncello. Yep. It smells great. Yeah, you do. Got one, two. Okay. Then we're going to do an ounce of vodka. Ooh. Any vodka of your choice, you can, um, it's good. You can use. Okay. Now we got triple set. We're going to use an ounce of triple set. So what is that thing called? This is a jigger. It's just a, a jigger. jigger. Yeah, one ounce. Don't say the other word. Ounce. Don't mix it. Don't mix it up. <laughs> now you want to take a lemon, a half a lemon. Okay. And put it in your um, squeezer here. Yeah. Are you want to do this? Yeah, let me get that. You, you know what I'm saying? Because I got. I, I, 
You I need something to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting in your way. Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. <laughs> I like you, John. We good. <laughs> Maybe. I, hold on. Don't, don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. I just me. squeeze it in there. I'm strong now. That's Look good. at that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm you got sorry, lemon juice in here. Yeah. If you want, you can add a little more um, sugar to it. It's that simple syrup to make it a little sweeter. Just squirt a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take our shaker, close it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. <laughs> strain it. Yeah, you oh. rocking and rolling, girl. Yeah, girl, it makes this pretty drink, right? And just It's like a lemon drop. Right. To make it real pretty, you want to put a garnish on it. A yeah. little lemon twist. Twist that thing on up. Put it right there. And also, I can put a little mint leaf in it to make it look pretty. That's the church, that's for the church people. The mint is yeah. for the church people. Tell me how you like that. Ain't that smell drink? good, Dad. Mmm. <laughs> Claude, you know have mercy. See, this is getting me drunk for real, because I'll be drinking these all night. Cause you can't even you can't you can't even taste the liquor. Baby, let me be. <laughs> Eight days a week. I wanna be your kind of liquor girl. But thank what you guys you for watching. I'm Jazz. You can keep up with me at Call on Jazz on Instagram and Facebook. C A L L O N J A S. See you next time. <laughs>so you don't want to over roll these okay okay so when you pick them up you just want to kind of do a quick roll oh, okay and get the pretty ball like that and then stick them down because if you over roll them the more they're in your hands the tougher the meat is going to get oh i didn't know that yeah okay. that, that is definitely a fact okay so then my next question is how do you know the inside's done like will you it, you just know it's done well, you can use a thermometer. Okay. The thermometer tells you it's over 180 degrees. You know they're done. Gotcha. Or what you can do is you can take them out and just kind of cut one open and see what it looks like on the inside. Because the thing about thing about meat, especially like ground beef, people eat ground beef raw. They oh. call it beef tartare. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, quick story. I actually had beef tartare when I lived in Germany. I lived in Germany for vier Jahre. So in German, that would be four years. And what? I what? went to, 50 what? I thought you said fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, which is like four years. And when I'd go to Paris, they would always ask, like, "Do you want this?" You guys, they literally crack an egg over top of the beef tartare, like literally, like moo straight to your plate, little blood, crack a raw egg on it, and they're like, "Hair," and then they give you a bill for like one hundred fifty dollars. Like it's ridiculous, like seventy euro. It was yeah. Yeah, y'all y'all want raw meat? Y'all gonna get a raw check? <laughs> so it's gonna go in the oven for about three fifty for about twenty to twenty five minutes. And then we'll show you what they look like. Oh, I'm excited. And so you're putting them on the bottom rack? Yes. You, the top rack is not the closest to the heat. Okay. So we want to put them on the bottom. All right, perfect. So that's three fifty for twenty to twenty five. Okay, you guys. So I told you we were gonna do an Italian inspired dessert, which is pan di spagna, which is also known as just sponge cake. So the thing about this is that you only need three ingredients, but what's most important is that it has to be under certain conditions. So you need lukewarm eggs. And no, you don't need to have it sitting out all day. You can literally just put it in warm water for three to four minutes and it'll be just fine. Now, as you can see, this is a really large egg, okay? You guys, this is a jumbo egg, okay? So, see this? Yeah. This is a pretty big egg. You can only use jumbo eggs, and that's because it needs to be like 4.6 ounces per egg. And just because John took one of mine, I'm gonna need another egg. Set, can I have another egg? Thank you. Okay, so I have two large. That was a good catch. Large, time. Thank you. You might to play for the pants. Hey. <laughs> Don't talk about me. For real. We he ain't knows, got no wide receiver. He knows I'm a huge fan. <laughs> egg, not an extra large, not a large egg, but a jumbo egg. And so, how you can tell the difference? Because sometimes it's hard. If you look at my hands right here, this jumbo egg takes majority of the space in the palm of my hand. But when I put this egg, which is actually a large egg, you can see that I have a lot more space. Just so you can see the difference. This is a jumbo egg right here, and this is a large egg, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go to crack, and again, you only need two large eggs, or your jumbo eggs, and you need to have your sugar and your flour. Girl, you crack that egg now. So since you're only using two eggs, everything has to be by proportion. So when you're using your sugar, it should be one third cup minus one tablespoon. So I have these nice rose gold measurement cups here. Mm. So I'm using my one third. And I always put my sugar second, okay, you guys, because you're gonna blend this for 15 to 30 minutes, okay? And just hold it over, even if you sprinkle a little bit less, a little bit more, it's fine, but just don't be too excessive, okay? Your sugar look like diamonds. <laughs> it do, it's, don't it? It's like real crystals. 
And you have to make sure it's forever. Yes, and it has to be granulated. Let me make sure I don't forget that. So this is about one third minus one tablespoon. So this is about perfect. Okay. So I just put that all in there. And literally that's all you have to do for now. And the purpose of this is the fact that you only need three ingredients and you can make a dessert that's gonna charge, it's $50 per dessert once it's designed. And you'll see why it costs that much towards the end. So once I do that, I'm going to blend it. Okay, you guys, so I know a lot of people don't have a standing mixer. I did not have a standing mixer when I started this. So you can use that regular handheld, but yeah, you're gonna have to stand there for 15 minutes, okay? And I'll tell you it's because once you get all of the oxygen inside of your ingredients, that's what makes it that spongy, beautiful tasting texture, okay? So we'll blend this and we'll be back to show you how the texture looks. And just making sure that you know that you can add some flavoring. You can use almond, you can use vanilla, you can even lose lemon. But like I said, with measuring, I know that I'm gonna put a little bit of dash, a little bit of dash, and that should be good. And you want just a, a pinch of salt. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. And make, sure, <laughs> make sure that you blend this for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna start you off and then I'll show you exactly the type of texture you need. Okay, so the third ingredient, like I told you, it only takes three, is your flour. And how you know that your batter is done is it literally should stick like this and it sits right on top of it. So the most important thing about this is that you have to sift the flour into the batter. And the reason is because if you just put it all in there, it'll sink to the bottom and it'll deflate your mixture and it won't rise properly. So when I sift, everybody has one of these. I really didn't know what it was really called. I just knew that you put stuff in it and shake it out, okay? So cross of it, shake it over there, and then make sure that you aren't doing it too vigorously, okay? So you're just moving the batter back and forth, you're back and forth. You're folding it in. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Correct terms, you're folding <laughs> it in, okay? If you do it too fast, you're gonna deflate a lot of the oxygen that's inside of it, like I said, and it will not rise, okay? So just move it back and forth or folding it. So That looks like the pudding from the pig <laughs> and no. Oh. Okay, and then to make sure you know, <laughs> So, so far we've had two jumbo eggs. We made sure that we had only one third cup of sugar and then you're gonna have a half a cup of flour, okay you guys? So it's only three ingredients. And of course you can add for flavor, but if you don't want to, you don't have to use any of that. And don't forget my pinch of salt now. Don't don't try to discredit what I did. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I pinched the salt. He put the salt in there, you guys. Okay, and so you see how it still should be sitting right on top. That's when you know you're doing it correctly. So here comes the finale. So you need to make sure you use parchment paper. If you just put it inside of your, whatever your baking thing that you're gonna use, it's actually gonna stick no matter what type of oil because it has so much oxygen in it. So also make sure that you cut it out in a circle in the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you put it in a square and put it in there, it's still gonna work. And make sure you use some around it so it comes out nice and circular. So you should know it's spongy by the way it sits in there. You see how it just folds? Kinda look like pancake batter. Exactly. Yeah. See how it just folds in there? That's dope. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to set this in the oven for exactly 338 degrees. And seriously, it's actually 338 degrees because that's the only way this will go into perfect. You need to set it in there for 40 minutes, okay? So time, 40 minutes, okay? 40 minutes. And make sure you know that when you actually put it inside the oven, you cannot take it out or you cannot open the oven for at least 30 minutes. It will deflate your cake. So we're about to take these meatballs out. I'm so excited about this because I'm hungry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah. They starting to buzz it wide open in them. Tell them, bring it back. I did not authorize that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is oh, what wow. you want right here. But see, we ain't done yet. You know what I'm saying? We ain't done. What can I use, Ty? What you What you want? I need a spoon to take these out of something. Oh, you want to use this one? Yeah, can I please? Yeah, she sure Thank can. You're so nice. No, just for today. For yeah, she today. was late the other day. <gasps> Why you gonna dime me out on camera like you're gonna that? See, okay, I'm you're fashionably gonna see. late, you guys. You know it takes time to do all She's of this. She's fashionable and okay. late. Yeah, so we good. just take these out right here and we put them in this nice little clear glass baking dish. You see how they're not breaking apart. That's what the egg do. Okay. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, okay, that makes it sense. Keeps it, it keeps it held together real smooth. Now, you know, you just pour this Miller's barbecue sauce. Look, guys, listen, you ain't gonna find nothing better. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Meat, for whatever you're doing. Barbecue sauce, why? This is the best. It does smell pretty good, you guys. Guys, and you just pour this over this meatball. I don't even like giving him credit like that, but it's actually pretty good. Look, look at that. Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help us. Look, then we got some Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese. Oh, that's good. 
Hmm. Is that the Italian part? Is that yeah, the that, part? That, that's the Italian part. But the Italian part. All the rest of it is my tag. And then some green onion. Oh, wow. You see how pretty that is? Oh, wow. Chris, he's been waiting all day, you guys. I cannot <laughs> tell you. He said, just break me off a little piece and put it on a chip. I said, we got to. <laughs> he said, let me get in where I fit in. <laughs> So much. <laughs> break me off a piece. Break me off a piece. Yeah. I was gonna say Kit Kat bar, but you know, I guess I didn't know. <laughs> Is it hot? How did you just eat it out the oven like that? <laughs> you don't have no taste much left, y'all. All right, so let's get your cake out. Let's see what All righty. Oh wow, came out perfect. Dang, that looks great. Okay, so I, like I told you with your parchment paper, kind of just unravel it. There we go. Gonna pick it up and it come out just like a circle. And I always make sure you peel off the bottom. Do not feed anybody without taking it off the bottom. It happens. Make sure you take this off before you it decorate shouldn't happen. it. happen. Don't do that. It smells good too. It smells like one of them cakes at the uh, Dominican spot. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. The little pandaria spot. Ah, la pandaria de la gente que habla en español. Eh, que bueno. Amen. Hicimos. Praise God. Amen. Próxima, la próxima vez podemos hablar en español. Hola. Si but for now, it's Italian, okay? Sí. All right. So the next thing that you're going to do for this is all you're going to have to do is just decorate it. Literally, this cake is going to turn into a decorative decor. So I'm going to show you one that I've already pre-made. Literally, you can make it look as beautiful as you want it to, but $5 worth of fruit and you have a decorative dessert. So you can see what this looks like. Wow, that's pretty. And all I'm going to do is literally, I just got one of those regular hand dessert things that makes a flower full of icing. I put some cream trees icing, but what's the best part of it is that you make your fruit look good. So I have some nectarines here and peaches. I make sure I cut up some kiwi and all everything that's bright. And then you know how you go into some of those French bakeries and it's all glistening. You're wondering how do they make it like that? Yeah. Literally apple jelly, a little bit of water, warm it up and glaze it. And when you let it sit, it makes it so beautiful. And these people charge you like 20 to $30 for these little things when actually you can make it all together. I got a question about that. Yes. Now I see the little flower right there now. Now it would, 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 would a lady be more interested in that or a batch of flowers? Or do oh. I got to get both? Because that's how y'all really. First of all, you need a gift card, flowers, and a dessert. I don't want, what are you talking about? Some choose between the two or both? I, did, I wasn't going to ask them to choose. I'm just bringing one. No, you should bring all three. Oh. I don't, what kind of many? Hit your friends. Yeah. They probably dogs, y'all. Don't do it. I like everything. You're going to take me to the restaurant. Dogs. Oh, cheap Bro. dogs. <laughs> back to the fruit you see how they're cut up yeah and i want you to make sure to make it pretty you're just cutting up your fruit and so i'll tell you to cut it into hearts and so that's what makes this beautiful because it's cut into a heart with a little bit of icing over top of it okay at eat and drink tv let us know whether you want your fruit and your i'm, I'm sorry your flowers and your fruit on top of a tart or in your hand with a gift card to you my favorite gift place. Card. You're getting the fruit or the flowers. Yeah. Like maybe to like the salon or something. Well, yeah, you can get that because we want you going for a little while so we can do our thing. Watch the game for a couple hours. He's going to be single like after this, y'all. Don't, don't let him get y'all messed up. And thank you so much for paying attention, of course, to this crazy guy. <laughs> and of course, favorite episode is My Italian. My Italian. Eat, drink, and handle your business.